we have our drawing pencils okay and we have our mechanical pencil and we have the eraser pen and we have the needleable eraser so keep everything ready right next okay so how we are going to start this first you take a 2b pencil okay take a 2b pencil and we are going to make a cross right in the middle of the paper so if you see the paper you can either keep the paper in horizontal manner okay in uh, landscape mode or you can keep it in portrait mode okay whichever you are comfortable with drawing you can keep it in that mode okay yeah okay so take your 2b pencil okay and we are going to draw cross right in the middle okay so first let's draw a horizontal line a very light horizontal line okay very lightly okay and then a vertical line okay now we know where the butterfly's body is going to be placed okay right in the middle this is where the butterfly's body is going to be placed now let's look into the wings okay how much height we need the wings okay so on the top we're going to draw one line on the bottom also we're going to draw one line now we are going to start by drawing the butterfly so let's draw the head of the butterfly okay initially try to draw very lightly okay don't apply too much pressure or it will be difficult to erase it later so start drawing it very lightly the head of the butterfly and the body also next let's mark the wings okay so from the head okay from the middle of the head this is where i'm going to start okay all the way so this is the right top wing okay so if you see you can see how i'm holding the pencil i'm not holding the pencil right at the tip okay i'm holding it little backwards okay so i have a proper support so i'm drawing it very lightly cool so exactly the same way you have to draw the left wing also it's just going to be the opposite okay so do it in the same way so i am using a 2b pencil right now okay i am using a 2b pencil okay that's why i told you draw very lightly okay don't use a pencil which is having a lot of blackness use a pencil which has comparatively lesser blackness okay you understood how the wings came right the same shape on the right side is the same shape on the left side also on the bottom the bottom two uh, wings will be a bit different okay so if you see a butterfly if you observe a butterfly the wings on the top is more larger and wider compared to the bottom one right okay so let's draw the bottom wing now okay so now we have done with the outline okay now we are going to see can you see here i have you i showed you the way i folded the pencil right so first we drew the outline very lightly now we are going to make the outline little more darker okay so any mistakes that you have any extra lines that has come you can erase it off and draw one single sharp line with the same 2b pencil okay so you can take out your needleable eraser any extra markings or any extra lines which have come you can erase it off okay even this construction line we do drew in the start right the cross the cross that we drew we can erase it off now
we are going to draw the outline of the owl also inside okay so we'll just draw the outline of the eyes of the owl okay and then we will go with the shading directly okay so take the 2b pencil which you have and let's draw the eyes okay of the owl so eyes one eye is going to be here and one eye is going to be here okay Same way on the left hand side also. Okay, so after this step, we are going to draw the inner eye. Okay. So in Okay, now let's go to the shading part. Okay, so first let's uh, start shading the uh, uh, the body of the butterfly. Okay, so use the same 2B pencil. So we we are going to go layer by layer. Okay, we are not directly going to go with the uh, dark shade. So let's uh, start by doing the lightest tone with the 2B pencil. Okay, so this is the body. Okay, so can you can you guys tell me this this body? represent something else also in the picture okay who can tell me what is this body in the picture this is the body of the butterfly but it is something else also who can tell me yes yes exactly correct it's the beak of the owl very good or the nose of the owl very good okay so start shading it very lightly using the 2b pencil the body and the head also okay now next we are going to give this dark shading to the eye also okay in the middle of the eye okay so here also we are going to leave some areas white okay i'll mark that area where we are going to leave white so inside the eye you can completely give black shade with the 8b or 9b or 10b pencil if you have
now the outside of the eye this this area also we are going to outline so you can use the same mechanical pencil and outline or you can use the ap pencil also okay so see how i am outlining this one so i'm going to give a thick edge okay thick edge on the right side and the left side now we are going to shade the inside areas okay inside areas we are going to shade so first use a uh, 2b pencil okay let's start with the lightest shade and then slowly slowly we'll go layer by layer to the darker tones 